What's going on guys? Welcome to episode 12 and the start of a new season here at Millwall. It's our second season, our first in the Premier League. It's uh, it's going to be rather difficult and of course we're going to have to uh, do a little bit of fighting along the way and uh, yeah, that it's it's going to be difficult. We don't have we didn't have the greatest squad in terms of trying to move up into the Premier League to begin with. We got promoted first season. It may not be the it may be difficult for us. Um as you can see our goal fight bravely against relegation this year. That is obviously what we want to do. We'd love to avoid getting relegated if we can stay up for a year or two, then we can really start to build on the squad and kind of push forward but this first year is going to be very very difficult but let's start here we talked last episode about how difficult it's going to be to um how difficult it'll be to bring in proper premier league players but not really overspend necessarily have players that we can go down with and don't want to really force our way out it's it was a little bit difficult to kind of bring those types of players in, but we'll do what we can. As for outs to start, um, Billy Mitchell, George Alexander, the regular loans, Matt Smith, Obita, Skalak, not really players who were going to feature for us up here, and we've kind of just let them go out on loan. Not really, um, nobody's really paying their wages. A lot of these players had wages built in, huge wage rises, jumping up to the next division which is kind of messed us up a little bit here combined they're on like 40k a week hopefully i'm trying to hopefully they can go out here play pretty well and somebody can find a way to you know buy them off and the next summer that's kind of what we're hoping especially with skylak who's on 24 grand a week um after his huge jump and we couldn't really get rid of him it's it's kind of difficult with someone like him obita um, here a little bit longer, but another player we're hoping to move on next year. And then Matt Smith, um, he goes away for free next year. Um, should we choose not to bring him back? And we probably won't. A bit slow. I mean, if he wasn't this slow, he'd be a proper good player, I would think. Um, but his pace really kind of messes everything up. And then Ruben Duncan has left for free. Nothing nothing of note there but we have bought in a couple of players let's start at goalkeeper Carl Dallow someone who's been or Darlow sorry um, who's been in the Premier League for a little bit with Newcastle um, and was started before Dubravka came along he's pretty good um, hopefully everything works out okay with him we're just trying to gap ourselves we needed a goalkeeper of course but we couldn't really find a really really good goalkeeper but we needed one who could hold us off at this level I think Carl Darlow, or Darlow is that man. Um, the biggest signing we made this off season, Juninho Bakuna. We probably overpaid just a little bit for him. Um, 16 and a half. Well, it rises up to 19. Um, but we needed a proper, good, creative midfielder. We've been missing one all year last year. We tried to compensate via loans and things like that. Um, but... I think we've found a really good player, someone who could hopefully stick around. He's on a little bit more money for the moment, Bakuna, at 54k a week, but we kind of needed to offer that a little bit to kind of bring him in, and he was probably the best option we could find at that kind of creative midfielder spot to help us going forward a little bit more. Um, Emerson Heinemann, the former Bournemouth midfielder, the United States international, well, yeah, <laughs> he's uh, come in for free, seventeen and a half thousand pounds a week, or a seventeen point two five thousand pounds a week. A you know a player who can play in a couple of different spots. Still only twenty four, um, but a good option there for us in midfield, and of course a free option as well, which is proper good. Um, Nabil Tuazi, um, nineteen, not the greatest of players, but someone who. We think we can definitely go ahead and flip. Only 160,000 pounds we paid for him. He's got plenty of potential. Um, pretty close, you know, to getting to that spot where we can play um, in some sort of capacity for us. 
Um, but this should at minimum be a flip, but I think he'll end up being a decent part of the team in the next couple of years either way. Um, Avrapanos, the Greek defender on loan from Arsenal. Um, hopefully this is one where we can eventually turn this into a permanent deal. Um, at the moment, his contract expires next year. We'll see how we go forward from there. Arsenal were asking quite a bit of money for him. They may want to sign him to a new deal, but we will see going forward. But a proper good center back for us. We're going to need it. Um, Camille Grisicki, another player who I think we've done pretty well to bring in. He's still got some pace about him. Um, mentals, every, once, every so often kind of don't, you know, <laughs> they're not brilliant. Um, but technically very, very good. And, of course, still very quick um may not be able to play stamina wise as much but that pace is obviously very needed and another player we've bought in for free 21 and a half thousand pounds a week three-year deal that is another bit of good business i think um ryan manning from qpr this one uh have we i don't know if we've overpaid necessarily seven and a half million we've bought from qpr but it's one of those players where we really needed someone on the left side um, to play left back. We have Ferguson, of course, but after that we have nothing. So to have someone who's a little bit better defensively, I think, someone who can you know equally go forward pretty well, um, I think this will end up being a pretty good signing for us at left back. Um, Kevin and Durham from Monaco. Um, the defensive kind of midfielder we bought in to play along with Thompson here he's got some really good mentals um, physically he's very strong and technically for what we're probably going to be playing him as a defensive midfielder you know pretty good technically there as well um, probably third 9k a week he seems like one of those players who wants to con you know move on if he can we'll see if we can play him enough to convince him to stay and you know be a part of the team um, but you know, proper good coverage, or I mean, if you compare the two, he's um he is a proper good player, just as Thompson is. Thompson's pretty decent for this level as well, but as you can see, they're relatively close. Uh, mentally, a little bit better. Technically, where we need him, he's a little bit better. Um, the you know the the stamina and the natural fitness really does help in a situation like that in that kind of role. Um, so of course both very good and both should be uh, fighting for that defensive midfielder spot and then we bought in another striker here Torles Null coming from Germany where did he come from Nuremberg um, 2.2 million I think this is a pretty a pretty decent bit of business here mentals are really really good work rates really good teamwork at 14 bravery aggression all these things for pressing forward are really really good not the quickest of strikers of course um, but maybe we can try and train that bump that up just a couple of points or a point we'll see um, but technically and mentally very very good and hopefully should do us a favor here so at the moment this is how we would line up for me for now um, Mavropanos and Cooper in the center of defense Ferguson and Romeo the, these are subject to change of course I don't want to throw 10 15 <laughs> you know new players in right away um, so I think we're in a pretty decent spot here. Jed Wallace keeps his place, and we wanted, we spoke about bringing in a left-sided winger so Mahoney can back up Wallace. I think Mahoney's best spot is out on the right, but Wallace can't really move necessarily from his spot. So having Mahoney and Wallace there is a pretty, pretty decent. Um, Bradshaw, I'm gonna fight with Noel for that spot. We're gonna have a lot of competition here, and we'll see how it goes. The theoretically going forward it should be moving around a little bit from here um, but at the moment I think we look pretty good um, we're gonna need closer to that 40 point mark to stay up it's gonna be difficult it's gonna be very very difficult and we have a game today against the team that should also be down there struggling with us these first two games I would love love four points um, to start off the season we'll see how it goes but we're gonna we're gonna jump right on into this West Brom game see if we can nick something here it's gonna be difficult I 
I have been training a tactic that's a little bit more cautious defensively. Um, if you want to see it here, it's a 4-4-1-1. Hopefully, this positive one works out for us. We maybe need to tweak it just a little bit. Um, I have tweaked it over the summer to see if we can kind of force ourselves into, you know, being a little bit, a little bit better on the road. We were awful on the road last year. Um, so hopefully that can change a little bit here. One issue, of course, with Romeo being out is that I kind of wanted to bring in another right back. We don't have the money. So we'll see a couple weeks out for Romeo. We'll see how McCarthy does at this level. I don't necessarily think he is the greatest player for this level, but he's not particularly awful defensively. So we'll see how that goes. But everyone, um, Bakuna is probably going to have to sit out this game to start. Um, but this is obviously where Heinemann is huge because he can play both sides of this midfield here. So we're going to move Heinemann in to start. Bakuna is just getting back from an injury. Um, not particularly fit yet. Um, so we will see. And we'll bring in Durham onto the bench. And I believe we are good to go. Hutchinson we will move out for Wallace. Make sure we got everybody fit that we can. And this should... Be good to go. So let's jump into it. West Brom, Millwall. It is going to be a heck of a game here. We're going to 25. It'll have to be what it is. But let's go. Let's jump into this. Let's see if we can get our Premier League season off to a good start. It's going to be tough. But, you know, that's what it is. Nobody expects us to get it. We owe West Brom. We'll, we'll go along with that one. But, yeah, we are probably going to be underdog in every game we play this year. It's probably just how it's going to have to be. They start positive. We're going to start positive. Mavropanos and Cooper hopefully rocks back there. Cooper, if he can chip in with some goals like he did last year, that would be, of course, ideal. But West Brom start off relatively early. A quick highlight. We get a nick on there, and it comes in, and we've conceded. What's going on there? The Ref hasn't moved. Oh, he is offside. Okay. All right. Quick and early. He didn't look offside. Oh, my God. That line is so tight. But a little bit of a warning to start here. Not what we want to see, but at least it didn't count. Um, they've got some decent players here. But they don't look brilliant either, so we'll see. McCarthy is pulled up with a pulled groin. That is not what we want to see, of course. Heinemann's on it, and he gets it across, and Bradshaw has a shot. Gets blocked away. Is there a second opportunity here? Wallace can't quite find the ball in, but no shots. We've had a lot of the ball to start here. A whole lot of the ball. 75% in the first eight minutes, nine minutes. Not too, too bad. As Wallace collects that down, can he run by Kieran Gibbs out wide? He can. He gets by him. And Wallace is on it here. Can he swing that in? He can. And Grisicki can't quite get to it. And now West Brom looking to come the other way. I look like they're playing really direct. Grisicki can't quite nick the ball off of him. And now they're moving the ball around. Bustos is on it. Burke. Thompson can't quite nick it off him. And now they're moving the ball pretty well here. It's out wide. Bustos. He slips it in. It's a good touch by McCarthy. Soon he gets it back inside. And the header... Oof, goes off the post and just cleared as Grisicki goes up the other end and is tackled out of play. That's their first opportunity that was an offside of the game. Not too bad. McCarthy on it now. Can we force something here? Heinemann goes to McCarthy. Tries to swing it in, but it's blocked away. And, and then they clear it away easily enough. Not uh, too easy there. I'd like him to put a little bit more pressure on there. McCarthy gets it down, but we cannot hold on to it. They're very threatening at the moment, West Brom, which makes me a little bit nervous. As Bustos gets right by, it's swung in, blocked away. Livermore, Lee, Sawyers, they're moving the ball around here in midfield. And the ball gets played out wide once again. And it's clipped in, headed down, headed on, and... That second header there has put it into the back of the net. Alario with the goal. And West Brom take an early lead. 13 minutes gone. And it's that play out here. Let's see if we can get Grisicki a little bit further back. 
he was on support, but he kind of just sat there. Ugh. Player sitting right in between and not what we want to see. Like a little bit more. Let's see if we can get creative here. As Ben Thompson has pulled up hurt as well. Let's avoid so many early injuries as Gibbs gets the free kick in. It's come down to Ajayi. Cleared away. Lee goes for goal. It's not great. Hmm. We started off rather well, and then they've they've uh, pulled up a little bit better since. It's been about 15 minutes since we've had a shot, which is not ideal. Let me see if we can go a little bit shorter passing here. As Livermore has that blocked away. Grisicki's not going to get to it. Bustos is. And that goes up to the wing. Sunu gets by McCarthy easily enough, and that header comes in, and Darlow saves. That's ugh. on that side. It's a little bit difficult for McCarthy at the moment, and he is kind of isolated. But we do win it back here in midfield. As Heinemann comes forward with it, can he find something? He finds Manning. Clipped forward. Ben Thompson does manage to hold on to it. Bradshaw, Wallace. Out wide, McCarthy again. Can we force something here? He slips it in, and Bradshaw heads well over the bar. A decent opportunity there. Very well played, but couldn't quite find the finish. Let's get a little bit creative here. Force them into a couple of more saves. Work their goalkeeper just a little bit. Nobody playing particularly well, but it's going to be that kind of season. Garner on it. Heinemann. Here's Wallace. And can Wallace beat his man? He cuts inside, finds Gardner. He has a shot. It's blocked away. Mavropanos on it. And it's cleared off. We do have extended highlights on, so we get a little bit more of those block shots come in as highlights, but it is what it is. Gardner not having the greatest game. Of course, we bought him back on loan. The young man, he's technically and physically or mentally and he's just very good <laughs> he's very good and for what we have he's he's definitely very very good as that comes forward and that is the end of the half we're not being wildly outplayed or anything but we're not creating enough I don't feel so it's going to be very very difficult we have to start creating a little bit more got a free kick here is this going to be a highlight for us? Kyle Bartley goes down into the book. And Wallace is going to take the free kick, but it comes to nothing, which is good. They have a corner, though. Not what we want to see early in the second half. As they get the header on, and that's hit the bar, and it's finally found its way into the back of the net. That's a good own goal? How is that an own goal? What has happened? Ball gets clipped in by Gibbs. It's hit the bar. And then gets headed out, and then, oh, it hits McCarthy on the line, and then hits Grisicki and finds its way into the back of the net, which is, yeah, not ideal. Um, let's bring Niguez on. Not the greatest of debuts from Grisicki so far. We're going to have a difficult year. We're going to have to be a little bit more conservative, I think. We're going to play into the Newcastle game with this and see how this goes, but... Might have to be a little bit more conservative going forward. As Bradshaw gets it out there and it's just easily dealt with. McCarthy's chasing. He's a bit hurt and I worry. But Darlow gets it away. Now can we move forward? Bradshaw on it. Can he do something with it? Gets it through to Heinemann. It's blocked away. Cleared on. And that was it. I guess it got blocked that shot. Not going too, too well this one so far. And McCarthy's hurt again. I don't have anybody to play right back. And he's going to continue to pull this groin. He's not going to be available for for the next game against Newcastle. He wants to come off, too. Ugh. Well, we'll do it after this highlight, I suppose. Burke coming forward. Oh, he does well to snick inside, and then Manning just comes across and swipes him out. 
We are going to have a difficult, difficult time in the Premier League. You can just feel it. And it's not great, is it? Penalty to come. Manning's booked. Alario with it. He's fired at home. And that is going to be game over. So we're going to move you out. Can Manning play on this right side? No. I don't have any more right backs. It was a, it was an area we needed help in. He just didn't have the money to continue to go. Hopefully we're a little bit more creative when Bacuna, uh, Bacuna comes back. Um, we shall see. We're also probably gonna, have, as we said, have to get a little bit more cautious. I mean, we're not we're moving the ball really poorly. The passing is not great. We don't. <laughs> the quality of the team is is not too great as is as they score again. Oh man, let's go down to cautious because at some point goal difference should will come into play, and we cannot lose this game six seven nil to start the year. We cannot. Just got to see this one out at four nil down. A really bad start. It looked like it was going to start pretty well. We, you know, we had four shots in the first ten minutes, and then, yeah, it just, <laughs> it just did not go well from there. So we're going to have to see going forward if we can find a tactic or something, just something better going forward. But time is slowly ticking away, though they have, a, they have it here. We don't get. We do not get stuck in. It's annoying, not because we because we have that on there. Do we have tighter marking? We got to use tighter marking too. It's like we kind of just let them move the ball around, and that is a little bit aggravating. Time is just ticking away. The sooner it ticks away, the better. Though we have a chance here. Bradshaw on it. He's fouled. That was outside the box. Yeah, free kick. Mm. Thought we might have nicked something there. And I guess to take. It gets clipped in. And it's in the back of the net. And we do take something home off a set piece. It's Bradshaw with the goal. It's nice to get him off the mark relatively quickly. Um, but... That's all it is. Just a consolation. And we'll see how this goes forward. Had a couple shots recently, though West Brom, I imagine, have pulled off a little bit. So we'll see. We're going to have to probably be a little bit more cautious, a little bit more defensive going forward. We'll see how I'm going to play this tactic during the Newcastle game and see how that goes. But we're probably going to have to be a little bit more defensive and really kind of be a little bit tighter at the back and hopefully Romeo just gets fit and doesn't get hurt he does get hurt a little bit but we, McCarthy's also hurt here so I mean it's uh, not great not the best start of course here oh boy it's gonna be tough here it's going to be tough McCarthy injured five to seven days of the pulled groin um yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't I don't know what else to say. Beaten beaten relatively easily there. So, we'll see how it goes next time round. Um when are we going to come back? Um Oh, what's Tam? Yeah, we'll come we'll do West Ham. We'll come back for West Ham in this Carabao Cup game. And that's that's probably where we'll uh where we'll go from there, guys. But I'm going to end this video here. <laughs> Not the greatest of starts, but this is going to be a difficult difficult process um going forward, of course, the idea to try and of I mean, the vision fight bravely against relegation. It's going to be it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough, guys. But that is going to be the end of this episode. I hope you folks have, of course, enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more. And peace.